name's Danny, this is my wife Ruth. We attend the Bolton campus of Kings, currently serving on the worship team. We are absolutely privileged to be sharing with you today during 21 days. Hopefully this will encourage you in your faith and in your prayer and devotional time, whatever point you listen to this video today. We're going to share with you from Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. Happy 2019 to you. Hope you are well. Um, we've had a busy couple of months, an enjoyable couple of months. We've had lots of family time and friends time, time with the children. You can imagine the chaos of Christmas, but also the fun of Christmas that we've had. Um, and we now find ourselves in January, in the month that we go back to work, the children go back to school, normality resumes, the house is cleared of all Christmassy things, and we're back to a bit of just normal living at home. And um, for some that's brilliant, and for others that's not so brilliant. And actually, statistically, apparently, the 24th of January is the most depressing day of the year, uh, which is quite a sad fact, I find. Um, but I don't know, maybe that is true for some people. Maybe January really is that depressing month. Um, and there are lots of things that people go into January thinking, New Year's resolutions, what they can do better, what they've learned, what to do, not to do. Um, and I know for me, going into January, there are times that, I allow the busyness of life and normality to overwhelm me. And in Psalm 61 in the Amplified Version, it actually says, when my heart is overwhelmed, take me, lead me to a place that is higher. And um, I do get overwhelmed at times. I think there's lots of things that overwhelm me, but I am reminded all the time of how true the word of God is, how faithful Jesus is, how he is, stood by me over and over again and I want to encourage you today that wherever you find yourself whether 2018 was a brilliant year for you or whether it was one full of just sadness and difficulty whether 2019 looks good for you or looks like it may be a struggle read that passage when your heart is overwhelmed lead you to that place be encouraged by that this morning pray that prayer for yourself ask that you would be led to a place that is higher than you. You know, we've got three children and I absolutely love being a dad. Um, sometimes the dad, uh, as a dad, we get overlooked by our children because sometimes all they want is their mum. I want mummy to clean my teeth. I want mummy to tuck me in. I want mummy to give me a kiss. But they do love the dad. My kids do love me. And there's one thing I do that does trump mum. Um, and that Ruth does refuse to do and that's put the children on my shoulders they absolutely love going on daddy's shoulders uh, Toby my two year old currently just keeps asking daddy pick me up, pick me up, shoulders shoulders, because all he can see in a crowded place, all he can see in the busyness of life um, when I'm walking him through the shops or even in church, his legs knees, that's all he can see but when I pick Toby up when I put him on my shoulders he can see, he can see how busy the place is, he can see where the exits are, he can see the directions that we're going in. Um, and it reminds me, it reminds me of uh, worship time when we put our hands up to God and have this picture of us lifting our hands in worship and actually asking, Daddy, pick me up. Father, lift me up. And that's what David's saying. Pick me up and lead me to a place that's higher than I. Lead me to a rock that's higher than I. This isn't just any old place that we're being led to. This is a rock, the rock of Jesus Christ and our salvation and everything that he brings. And when we see things from God's perspective, things become a lot clearer, things become a lot calmer. And God doesn't necessarily always show us the bigger picture, but what we do see from a perspective of God is his greatness and how mighty he is and how awesome he is and his magnitude and how strong he is, a strong tower like the rest of the chapter goes on to say. 
So we want to help that, encourage you in your prayer this morning. Hopefully when you do pray, we want to encourage you to worship yeah. and have that picture in your mind of lifting your hands up to God. Lift your hands up if you can during your worship time this morning and ask God to help you see things from his perspective. Ask him to lead you through his Holy Spirit to a place, to a rock that is higher than you are so you can see his greatness and his magnitude and glorify him for who he is. Let's pray into that this morning. Jesus, we thank you for your greatness. We thank you for your faithfulness. Yeah. We thank you that you are always with us, no matter where we are at, no matter what we are going through. I thank you that you are the one who is true and constant and always there. And I thank you that it's so clear in your word that when we are overwhelmed, we can come to you. We can be led to a rock that is higher. Jesus, I pray for every person that is listening to this message that they would have a moment with you, a moment in your presence where they can lift their hands, yeah. where they can lift their eyes and yeah. see things from a God perspective, that their fear, their worry, their sadness can be replaced with hope and joy and peace and strength. Jesus, may we make a conscious effort to lift our arms. May we make a conscious effort to be honest with you where we're at and allow you to lead us to that place. Yeah for safety, for security. Jesus, I thank you for your goodness to us and give us a great day, Jesus, today. Whatever we are doing, may we constantly remember who you are and what you have done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. See ya. Bye.